let's see. I think uh, it's complicated. He dropped a uh, dropped a video uh, yesterday. I think we can uh, we can react to it. <sighs> Three days ago. That is some bullshit, dude. Yeah. Can you define accountability? Taking responsibility for your own actions. Yes, whether you lie or tell the truth, it's all about just being honest with your partner. Accountability to me is just taking responsibility for your, your own actions, making sure. We'll look up, we'll find the definition of accountability. Mm -hmm. Accountability, the fact or condition of being accountable, responsibility. So yeah. that you like when you say you're gonna do something or you say like something is important to you that you follow up on on those things accountability is when I say I'm gonna do something that I'm following through accountability is follow through to me who takes more accountability men or women and why women, women. that's cap why men uh. try to hide shit because they feel like they're gonna scare their women away no, women cannot accept the fucking truth. That's why men feel the need to lie. For hurt, hurt them in some way. I've had a lot of guys tell me they're going to do something and it doesn't happen. Um, I'm going to say, I guess men. No, I, I guess women. Why? I don't know. I feel like women are more emotionally intelligent. Definitely understand like their emotions and things that they care about a little bit more than men. I think men because... They have to work more and so like they have a lot more going on in their head so they have a lot more they have to like take accountability for and responsibility and they don't really argue much at least from what i've seen what was the last mistake you took accountability for um you know i blamed my boyfriend and i take accountability for blaming him so just now when was the last time you apologized I'm sorry. When was the last time you apologized? Um, I'm sorry. Okay. What? <laughs> I always take part in my in any problem, regardless. Even if someone did something to me, I always take my part of the blame. Is like I put myself in the situation, you know. And I feel like that's the only way we learn how to grow is by taking accountability for everything. It takes two for everything. When someone commits a crime, women do not take accountability for anything. They will always blame everyone but themselves. I mean, do you blame the cr and her cum catchers were were hella long criminal or do you blame society? The criminal. You can always make your own decisions at the end of the day. Both. It's nature and nurture. The way you were raised, your mindset, your own individual actions. I think all of that matters. I don't think they're mutually exclusive. Um, if they're impoverished and it led to them stealing food, then I don't blame them for their crime. I blame society because of the system that we have and capitalism has failed them. Um, whereas if they were to murder somebody, then that's a different story. I blame society because I feel like society, in a way, they cause the criminal to be a criminal. Uh, I mean, a criminal what? doesn't have a criminal doesn't become a criminal overnight. Something must have occurred in their lives that would make them do crimes, make them want to do something. So, so if a guy cheats, can he blame society? No, okay. if a guy cheats, and he should be. be so, responsible how for is that different than a criminal? I mean, if someone does wrong, why are you more likely to blame? society than blame the individual because it for, for society it takes it takes up over time usually a criminal in my opinion it doesn't happen overnight like i said well if um, a guy cheats why can't he just blame hookup culture i mean like okay, uh, he could good, but good. Then, like, how long how long would that occur like how well, long okay would, if a guy cheats if a guy cheats can he blame society or hookup culture absolutely not i don't even have to finish hearing the rest
this and that. If a guy cheats, he cannot blame society. There's, you've made that choice, and that's where the accountability comes in. So if you make a choice to commit to somebody, you make a choice to commit and follow through. If you're ready to step out the door, you can make that choice to be respectful and to say, hey, you know what, I respect you enough and I love you enough that this isn't going to work out as a monogamous relationship. I've got to go elsewhere. Why is it when a man cheats, he's a cheater? Why would he do that when he tells you that I'm going to fuck other bitches? You, you are going to leave. So why would he tell you the truth and lose out on you when he can lie to you and keep both? But when a woman cheats, it's because she's not satisfied. If you cheat, you're a cheater, if you're a man or a woman. I mean, isn't a man not satisfied when he's cheating? I mean, like, it's not black or white, but it is ha has been statistically proven that women cheat for different reasons as opposed to men. For men, it's more like sexual gratification, and for women, it's more like emotional gratification. But both are not true and not honest with each other, and that's really what matters, just, I guess, like, communication in general. Is it possible to have equality without equal accountability? Oh, no. Oh, that was Oh no. How much y'all want to bet that none of these women take accountability? Be equal if relationships have double standards. I would say it's <laughs> impossible. That's a really tough thing because, I mean, our society is built off of, we, we live in a patriarchal society where men have ruled for a really long time, so it's really hard to um, do that because double standards were created in our society by men. Why is it when men do wrong, it's men's fault, but when women do wrong, it's society's fault? I think women just try to put the blame on other people. Um, that's something that like, I find myself working on a lot because I do see it a lot in the world. What are women exclusively held accountable for? Nothing. Oh, I'm not sh Exclusively held accountable for just women? I'm not sure. I Sleeping, sleeping around could be one. Uh, when a girl sleeps around, she gets called a hoe, which is some sort of holding her accountable. I can't think of anything. Can you think of any problems in society that aren't blamed on men? Mm. What are women exclusively held accountable for? <laughs> uh, nothing exclusively held accountable for. Uh, I guess, you know, keeping keeping their shirts on. That's a good question. I really have no answer for that. I think we're not really held accountable for anything, and everything gets blamed on men. Oh, she Can you think facts. of any problems in society that aren't blamed on men? I mean, women can't blame men for, like, periods and stuff. Oh, you know? okay. okay. That aren't blamed on men? I mean, I'm sure tons, but, like, at the end of the day, like... This society was kind of founded and built by men, so I feel like they should take accountability. Like, this is the society that you built. What the hell? Why would we expect men to have emotional well-being in a society that always blames men? I don't think anybody cares about men having a good emotional well-being. And that's the, pro that's the main thing. Like, nobody cares. If men are blamed for building society, why are they never credited for anything good in society? Because it's, uh, it's uh, expected. What determines which problems you blame others for versus problems you blame yourself for? So you would blame others for situations where you were misled and you blame yourself for something which you did on your own with no influence whatsoever. Is it fair for a woman to blame society for the consequences of her own personal choices like having a baby or choosing a career that over sexualizes her body? Definitely not. Like I, I'm a webcam model. And so something that I do is sexualizing my body, but I'm not ever going to blame somebody else for sexualizing me when I've put myself out there. What OnlyFans has proved is women are okay with being sexualized as long as they're getting paid for it. Why is it when women are called out on their bad behavior, they often blame society or how they were raised, but when men are called out, they're more likely to be held accountable? Because it's an easy out for women to do that, um, to blame others, but at the end of the day, it's your own decisions. Because it's too easy for women. They're effeminate. They can cry. All they do is cry, and they're like, okay, well, you guys are wrong. It doesn't matter if they're in the wrong. I've seen chicks cheat, and then they'll cry, and their guys will take them back. And I'm like, she cheated on you. <laughs> I don't think that men are held accountable as often as they should. Um, but again, that's past experiences. Um, but I think that... 
because of the whole like Me Too movement, it's so easy for women to fall back on that as an excuse. It's not necessarily that they shouldn't be held accountable for their own actions. It's more so that the media has made it really easy for them to use it as a scapegoat. I think there's harsher punishment on women for a lot of these reasons. What and the also hell? society has been built to sustain men and um, cisgender men, straight white men. So it's like they can be called out on certain things. Run it, run it back. For a lot of these reasons, and also society has been built to sustain men and um, cisgender men, straight white men. So it's like they can be called that the media has made it really easy for them to use it as a scapegoat. I think there's harsher punishment on women for a lot of these. You cannot name one thing that women have a harsher punishment for that men that men don't have. Like, if you have a baby with one, before you even get pregnant, you have so many options to not get pregnant. Also, you could not have sex. You choose the man. You choose choose better men. Uh, if you do accidentally get pregnant, there's you have abortions now. But whereas men's, whereas men's um, reproductive rights, they don't have any zero. Uh, the courts favor in the mother. Uh, cops are less harsh on women they get uh less uh sentences in prison and jail uh most of them there's more women in college more women graduating college uh yeah and don't even bring up the pay gap because that's been debunked a million times that women make less due to choice reasons and also society has been built to sustain men and um, cisgender men, straight white men. So it's like they can be called out on certain things, but it's not as harsh punishment as like women or like black women. If women can blame all their shortcomings on patriarchy and internalized misogyny, does that absolve them from all personal responsibility? No, they think it does, but it shouldn't. It doesn't absolve them of personal responsibility because um, ultimately it's their responsibility to um, do good things for themselves, but Yes, it's it's I think it's important to to at least acknowledge that misogyny and patriarch and living in a patriarchal society that they are um, at a place of disadvantage. If you check the Forbes billionaires list, the real time billionaires list, it's it's probably a hundred women and like three thousand dudes. Why are women more concerned with the ratio of male to female CEOs as opposed to the ratio of lower paid, dangerous, dirty jobs done mostly by men? because they're less willing to do those dangerous So with the plant that has blocked hard, I'll get a post-workout glow in. The CEO money. How do you personally decide which social pressures you conform to and which ones you reject? What, I mean, depends on your religion, your culture, your environment, your family. I feel like as a parent, I have teenagers and I think that's a double-edged sword, right? There's things that we need to conform to that we, everyone wants to fit in, everyone wants to be loved, everyone wants to be accepted, but there are things that when you have certain standards, they might not necessarily be the cool thing or the end thing for everyone else out there. And so I decide on how it makes me feel. Is it something that is going to build me up and make me a better individual if I do it? Is it something that gonna, is gonna hurt somebody? If it is gonna hurt somebody, I don't do it. Like I think, try to think of other people when I am choosing my choices. Who is more likely to care what society thinks, men or women? Uh, women, for sure. Who's more likely to follow trends? Women. Why would women care what society thinks if we're living in a world that oppresses them? We're not living in a world that oppresses women, quite the opposite, in fact. Facts. Women don't care, not at this point. In 2023, where we at? 2020, <laughs> women don't give a damn about stuff. We got BBLs, we got <laughs> sex workers, we got everything. They're winning, they're winning. Why do people think that all men are still controlling the world just because there are a few men at the top of the food chain? Definitely not a few. It's like up in the high 90% of like CEOs and business owners and elites are all men. And they let very few women in, very few other demographics. So, I mean, statistically proven. She ever stopped to think that maybe women aren't as qualified for those positions? I, I wish that statement was fucking true. And then it would just be like a mindset, right? But... You know, glass ceiling. Could it ever be possible for women to hold too much power in society? Oh, absolutely.
I've worked in environments where it was all female management and it was a terrible situation because women are catty and yeah, yeah, it would be awful. Yeah, it's possible for anybody. I mean, like kingdoms fall, kingdoms rise and they fall and they, it's gone to show like over and over again and this one will fall as well. Maybe the next time it'll be the women and we'll be the ones to blame. How is it possible to hold somebody accountable when they can always play the victim? You can't. No, whoa, always, whoa, whoa. Always run I mean, from you that got shit. laws in play, you know, to a certain extent, you know. You can't always play the victim. Like, you still have to take responsibility for your own actions. No, they find and a there's way. There's a lot of They'll situations where it is, like, one person as opposed to multiple, so there's no reason for them to be victimized. If we're all victims of society, then why should anyone be held accountable for their actions, including men? I'm a man hater. These are not questions for me. <laughs> Why are, you what the hell? Why are you a man hater? A lot of women today. Why can she openly say that sh she's a man hater? But if a man ever said, no, nah, I hate women, his ass is gone, done for. Are, are, are a lot of women hate men today, right? Because they all cheat. They all lie. They all do you dirty. Go behind your back. Okay. All, all of you women out there could have a guy that would not ever cheat on you, but you are not attracted to that guy. They're all, all in your friend zone. All of them. But you guys choose. You guys choose the men that cheat. What if I said that all women are gold diggers? Would that would that be okay? Oh, uh, I mean, a lot of them are. I can't disagree with you. So then why is it more socially acceptable? All women are gold diggers. Some of them are better at hiding the shovel than others. And that that's from from Rolo or that's from Myron? It's for women to hate men than it is for men to hate women. I wouldn't say it's more socially acceptable. I would say... I don't know. I don't. If, if men hate women, I don't give a fuck. Well, I mean. <laughs> I'm not really <laughs> big on a lot of the things that are going on in the actual world today. You know, I live in my own little world, and I think that more people should just oh, no, worry about know. what we they're doing. We know you live in your own little world. And not like what everyone else is doing. Um, and they should take accountability for things, except for me, you know, because I know everything. What the fuck? So. For people who say that's just how I was raised. If someone is raised to be racist or homophobic, is that a valid excuse? Valid excuse to be that? Yeah. I mean, I don't get, you could be racist if you want. You could be homophobic if you want. I mean, it's your right to, as long as you're not making a, like doing any hate crimes and stuff. I don't think it's a good thing. You got the freedom of speech, freedom of expression, but um, it's not a good excuse to be a, you know, a hole, you know? To a certain age, before they're able to form their own opinions and educate themselves otherwise. But once they're old enough to like, know better, then no, it's definitely not an excuse. We're all raised different ways, right? But as you learn and you grow as an individual, once you learn that that's not okay, you have that responsibility. Ignorance is bliss, right? But you can't claim ignorance as a defense for being an idiot. Facts. Shout out to uh, It's Complicated. All right, I'm out of here. Uh, all of you on Rumble, hit that follow button. You, hit the follow button. I'm trying to live stream on Rumble. We only need 25 of you to hit that follow button. Uh, for the rest of you on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Share the video. Watch another video. Leave a comment. Y'all the goats. Y'all the ghosts. Y'all really the ghosts. Uh, shout out to y'all. Peace out. I'll be back tomorrow.